Welcome to this video presentation created by the Minnesota Department of Agriculture in cooperation with Ag Systems of Hutchinson, Minnesota. I'm Ed Kaiser, anhydrous ammonia program consultant with the Minnesota Department of Agriculture. The video presentation you are about to view focuses on the steps to correctly install a breakaway coupling device on an anhydrous ammonia application toolbar unit. The Minnesota Department of Agriculture hopes this video presentation provides you with the information to correctly install this important safety device. The breakaway coupling device, or what is often referred to as the quick coupler or pull away coupler, is a required safety device that must be installed on an ammonia application unit. The two segments or halves of the breakaway coupling device separate stopping the flow in the event of a separation between the application unit and nurse tank. Without an operable breakaway coupling device, an uncontrolled ammonia release is likely. An extremely important thing to do before installing a breakaway coupling device is to bleed off all ammonia from the application unit components and lines. Ammonia rated goggles and gloves must be worn when ammonia application unit components and lines contain ammonia. Also have safety water close by. The first and foremost thing to do when installing a breakaway coupling device is to carefully review and follow the manufacturer's installation instructions. Here's how the breakaway coupling device is installed. First, attach the flat mounting bar to the application unit frame, not the application unit hitch, with two bolted connections. Attaching the flat mounting bar to the application unit frame by welding is not allowed. Attach the multi-directional swivel assembly to the opposite end of the flat mounting bar with a bolted connection. Be sure to install the prescribed bushing in the bolted connection. The bushing allows the lower swivel bracket to move horizontally. Also be sure that the upper swivel bracket freely moves vertically. Attach the male section or half to the female section or half of the breakaway coupling device. Tighten the locking bolt to secure both segments or halves of the breakaway coupling device. Install bleed valves on both the male and female halves of the breakaway coupling device in the threaded ports provided. Oh. Install the hydrostatic relief valve on the female side of the breakaway coupling device in the threaded port provided. The hydrostatic relief valve must be equipped with a rain cap. Install the jumper hose. The jumper hose must be of a length and slack as prescribed by the manufacturer to allow for full movement of the breakaway coupling device. Generally 80 degrees side to side and 20 to 30 degrees up and down. It is recommended that the breakaway coupling device be positioned approximately 24 inches directly above the application unit hitch connection point. Install the withdrawal hose of a proper length for the specified application assembly. 
positioned above the nurse tank hitch with no chance of damaging hosing fittings or loosening of the hose end valve when in service. Install the information for connecting and disconnecting the breakaway coupling device displayed in a manner that is readily visible near the breakaway coupling device. The Minnesota Department of Agriculture hopes this video presentation provides the necessary information to correctly install a breakaway coupling device.